Are you curious about the Boise weather? It's been a little on the scorching side lately, but not to worry. I'm gonna go over what our weather patterns are like here, so stick around. Boise and Treasure Valley area with Better Homes and Gardens, 43 degrees north real estate. I moved here 16 years ago with my family and now I'm lucky enough that I get to help others do the same. If you are interested in relocating to the area, feel free down below in the description of this video is a great relocation guide and it's jam packed full of information that you will find helpful if you're thinking about moving to the area. Today I'm talking about our weather. I've had quite a few people come up recently and they've noticed that it is pretty dang hot and they wanted to know, is it always this hot here? So today I thought I'd talk about the weather a little bit and touch on the summer um, and what you can expect during the summer months and then into the fall, winter and spring. So let's dive right in. So since it is summer right now and the beginning of August, I think we should start off with summer uh, for our first season. Summers here are generally hot. You'll find the average temperature around 85 degrees, but don't let that fool you. We do have about a two week period during our summer months, which generally is between July and August where we hit temperatures in the hundreds. So just the other week we were up to 106. It was scorching. But the nice thing about the type of heat that we have here is it's a dry heat. It's not like um, when you go to Texas or Alabama or Florida in the south in those um, southern region states where it can get super humid when it's hot out as well. So it's a dry heat, um, but it does get hot. So I always have water with me everywhere I go. That way you uh, stay hydrated um, because it is dry. So you're gonna wanna keep that water with you no matter where you go. Um, places to cool off in the summer, always go hit the Boise River and float the river. It's a great way to cool off. You can go up to Lucky Peak um, or you can go to one of the local community pools. Most of the pools right now are closed though because of COVID, so that's kind of a bummer. But some of the community pools within um, like the different uh, community neighborhoods pools that they have that are part of the HOA, a lot of those are still open though. They just have like some basic guidelines that you have to go through. Some of them are closed, but generally speaking, I believe from what I've been seeing, most of them are open. So you can go cool off that way or you can just stay inside where it's like nice and air conditioned. Okay, so let's roll right into my favorite season now, which is fall. I love fall, fall for so many reasons. It's because the weather starts to cool off. I get tired of the heat. I love the heat, but I do start to get tired of it. So when fall rolls in and everything starts to settle down a little bit and it's not quite so hot, this is the best time of year. Um, it's my favorite time of year. It also means that all the trees are going to start changing and turning colors and Boise is known for being the city of trees so one of the best places to go to gain perspective and to see all the beautiful uh, trees turning and the bushes and if you don't have a fire bush in your yard I highly recommend getting a fire bush because they turn this beautiful brilliant crimson color in the fall they're just so pretty they're green in the summer and in the sp or spring and summer and then in the winter, excuse me, in the fall, they turn this brilliant crimson, fiery red color, hence the term firebush. Um, but anyhow, so if you go up to Table Rock, it's uh, off of Warm Springs Road in Boise, and it's about a mile hike up, and it just gives you the best perspective, and it overlooks the entire valley, and you can see all the trees turning. So if you have an opportunity to do that, if you come in the fall, I recommend doing that. Um, so anyways, that's fall. The temperatures in fall average around 64 degrees. So you can see it's just nice and mild. It's not cold yet. And it's cooled off from those summer temperatures. And it will get down an average low around 41 degrees. And that is fall here in the valley. Okay, so I know that winter is a lot of people's least favorite season. It also happens to be my least favorite season. I do not like the cold at all, especially coming from California, being a California girl. 
but I've gotten used to it. Um, winter here, the average temperature you're gonna find is 47 degrees as a high, and then the average low is 27 degrees, but it does get down much colder. I've seen it here negative five sometimes. Um, and that's not like, that's not all the time that might happen for a couple of mornings, but then as um, it gets warmer during the day, those temperatures will rise and sometimes we'll see the teens there for a few days in a row. We haven't had that though lately. Uh, the last couple winters have been fairly mild. So I'm kind of, I'm wondering what this winter is going to bring. You never kind of know. The winters here, they can be mild or they can be harsh. We had did have snow apocalypse in 2016 where we had record breaking snowfall. It was crazy. Um, we'd walk out the front door. We weren't quite sure what to do with the snow anymore because it was packed up to here, but that is not usual. That was record breaking snowfall that year. We generally only get a dusting of snow, uh, maybe like one to two inches. And then by the afternoon or the next day, it's all melted off. So it's not something that usually sticks around. It might stick around for a little bit where the kids have an opportunity to play, make some snowmen or, you know, whatever they want to make with the snow and play in it. There's a couple of cool sledding hills they can go to uh, that are close by within the area. So when it does snow, it's kind of exciting and it's fun and everybody wants to go out and observe it and play in it. And, um, but we just, it's not something that's typical here. We don't see a lot of snow. If you like the snow though, in the winter, then head up to Bogus, head up to Tamarack, go up to McCall and Brundage. Uh, there you can go skiing, snowboarding, ice skating. There's lots of opportunity for recreation in the winter here. They have, um, the mountain biking with those super fat tires that you can do around here as well. There's lots of opportunities for sledding. If you go up to Bogus Basin, they have um, a sled hill that's there, but they've got that tram or the ramp that's electric and you get to ride that up. And it's kind of nice because you don't have to um, ruck it up the up the side of the hill or the mountain there. And you can get the speeds there that you go down that, that sledding hill is kind of scary. It's super fun. So if you have an opportunity to do that, you gotta make reservations though and make those reservations and get up there and go sledding. It's a lot of fun. So that's winter. Winter is, it lasts for a while. It's generally from November to February, the end of February-ish in that time. Um, but it's, it is cold. It isn't unbearable though. A lot of people I know that I talk to are like, oh, we love Idaho and we'd really love to move here, but dang those winters, I just can't wrap my brain around the winter. It's really not that bad. If I can do it, if I can survive, so can you. So my next favorite season is spring here. Spring is amazing. It can be a struggle for it to kind of start to kick in though. It feels like sometimes spring takes forever to come around, but it does, it always does. Um, but temperatures in the spring average is 63 is a high and the average low is 36 degrees. So you can see where it's that little bit of a struggle, but everything starts to turn green and it's just, it's so exciting when spring comes around and you get to watch things just slowly start to, to bud out as far as like the trees and the bushes and everything. Um, the flowers start to bloom, the temperatures get a little bit warmer. You'll start to see your neighbors more often because people are coming out from their hibernation from winter. Um, you'll see a lot more people up hiking in the hills and on the green belt. And also one of my favorite things about spring is all the little duckies start to hatch. And because we have a lot of waterways around here, there's always lots of ducks around. Um, and you'll see um, the baby deer that have been born. So you can maybe go to Catherine Albertson's park there. There's always deer there and the mamas always bring their babies out there. Um, if you like to to see the wildlife but spring is such a beautiful time of year here um it runs from february to june and the average high is 63 and the average low is 36 you can see it still gets pretty cold at night um but the temperatures do start to rise up then so anyhow that is my take on the seasons here and the weather in the treasure valley if you have questions about buying selling investing or relocating to the area, please feel free to reach out to me. I am happy to answer any of your questions. I've been taking lots of those questions lately. In fact, I know that I missed my video last week and I got quite a few calls, texts, and emails that I missed my video and that you guys, that made me feel so good that you actually missed me. <laughs> um, I promise I'm going to do my best not to miss any more videos, but 
Anyhow, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next Friday.